Hey there everyone, Nathan Stein at Pegasus Robotics. Now it's my pleasure today to introduce you to the XAG product line. Behind me here, you see we have the P100 and the P100 Pro. We've had a lot of questions about the differences between these two vehicles and uh, just comparing them together. So we're gonna go through part by part and show you some of the improvements they've made from the vehicles from one to the other. And then we're gonna cover some of the accessories that you can also get with the vehicles. So let's start with the most obvious facts of the difference between these vehicles, which is the propellers. The propellers here, as you can see on the P100, have a 47 inch prop. And on the P100 Pro, we're looking at a 55 inch prop. The other big item you're going to notice on these is the fact that these are tilt rotors on here. They do seesaw back and forth. XAG has built this as a new feature on these vehicles to increase uh, the longevity of the motors, given the fact that they're pushing these vehicles to the brink at 30, 31 miles an hour across the field and making really hard turns. So this really, you'll see these props. Um, moving while it's in flight. It's kind of a neat dynamic and it's it's something that catches your eye on the side of the road as it's sitting there and these props are kind of just flopping back and forth. So it's it's a neat dynamic. Um, it's nothing new obviously involved in, in the use of helicopters for many many years so it's a, it's a great uh, adaptation to the drone market. The other thing I want to concentrate here on is, is on the P100 the motor is slightly smaller. It has a 4000 watt motor able to generate 99 pounds of thrust versus the uh, the new motor on this P100 Pro is going to be able to generate 115 pounds of thrust and it's a 4100 watt motor. So a little bit bigger in the motor. This will make a difference in our payload though as we talk later and you'll see. The other small uh, change that they've added is they've gone from plastic to a metal composite here on these ESCs and they've improved the waterproofing on these ESCs for the P100 Pro. Minor revision, but something to note. You'll notice we still have the rubber pads on the end here and stuff, and the, uh, the really solid construction, which is, uh, which is good in travel and transport so that you don't damage the arms of the motors. So that's it for the, for the, power, for the power unit. All right, so let's talk about the next most obvious component, which is the radars in the front of the vehicles. You can see on this P100, the radar up here, in the vehicle over here on the P100, we have a much larger uh, radar on the front of here. And what they've done with the difference between the P100 and P100 Pro is they've actually doubled the distance in which you can see. So this can only see 130 feet in front of it, but this can see 260 feet in front of it. So that's gonna improve your obstacle detection and uh, safeguard your vehicle a little bit better. This vehicle still does a great job, but this one, obviously, they've improved significantly. The other thing to note is we have the FPV cameras you'll see on these drones right up in front here. And here, these are the same cameras right here and here. Um, but additionally, they added to uh, the P100 Pro is they added a downward facing camera. So what you can't see is there's a camera right underneath here. And that camera is looking down and you can use this uh, for actually dropping points across the field on corner posts. Say you have a square 160, you can fly over those posts and you can sight in your field boundaries really quickly just using the drone itself and drawing your field boundaries or obstacles in your field. So this great tool that they added to this, um, we'll cover that in other documentation, but that is one added feature that you're gonna get with the P100 Pro that the P100 doesn't have. Let's also talk about another thing that you're gonna notice on the aircraft, just slightly different, is the antennas, okay? On the antennas here, you're gonna see you have your uh, RTK antennas up here and your Wi-Fi antennas back here on the P100. On the P100 Pro, as you come over here, you'll notice they're missing in the back here. They've moved those Wi-Fi antennas into the handles to keep them more protected, but the RTK antennas still have to be out here uh, for um, geopositioning. So they've got those two things kind of tucked away and they've also made this a little bit sturdier and a little bit shorter uh, to improve its stability and strength. So another improvement that XAG made is the modularity between the P100 and the P100 Pro here. Um, I really like the P100 for its solid frame construction. It's just a tank. You can throw it in the back of your pickup truck and slam the tailgate and not worry about it. Um, however, if you want to put two in there, it gets to be a little bit cluttered and it's hard to transport. 
The P100 Pro, however, is they have a solution for this. They added these cam lock arms. And although while this drone is much larger, it folds up into a much smaller profile, allowing us to be able to transport more of these when we're out in the field. So all you have to do is pull these cam locks, fold these arms in um, on the front and back arms, and we will be able to uh, put probably two, possibly even three of these drones in the back of a pickup truck or in the back of a spray trailer. So let's talk about the Revo spray system that XAG has made in both the P100 here and the P100 Pro. I want to cover kind of the differences between them. And obviously the first thing that you see is the difference in tank and volume. On the 40 liter model, uh, we're going to carry 10.6 gallons here on the P100. The P100 Pro has got a 50 liter tank. That's going to carry 13.2 gallons when you go to the field every time. And that's afforded by obviously the better power plant we have here as well as the larger props. We have a higher efficiency aircraft to carry that at full speed across the field. Now one thing, uh, there's a few other things that uh, XAG is known for. One is its pumps and then its rotary atomizer system here. To first talk about the pumps here, we have these peristaltic pumps here. Uh, you can see on the P100 we have just a single line going through here and one thing about peristaltic pumps, which is nice, is, is you know they're not in contact with the chemical, and so they do have a lot longer life period, and they're not a pressurized system like you're used to on a high-pressure uh, nozzle system. It's actually just pumping up, up through the arms and then dropping down through a tube onto the rotary atomizer here, which is then spinning and spreading out that product at different droplet sizes based on the speed of the rotary atomizer. Uh, so it's a great system and provides the best coverage you're going to find in the industry to date. But the difference between the P100 and P100 Pro here is the, the amount of gallons per minute. Now on the P100, it has a single tube. It's able to achieve a max rate of 3.17 gallons per, per minute. But when we go over here to the P100 Pro, they made a great contribution to this. They doubled this uh, in a great way, and this is giving us 5.8 gallons per minute out in the field. Um, what this is helping us achieve is, you know, you're able to get that three gallon to five gallon uh, per acre rate of fluid, which is required for a lot of labels out there. So this is going to help those guys out there put on those products at a higher speed than they were ever able to achieve. One of the other neat uh, tools that they invented on here is the flow dampening system between all these different channels in order to make uh, the flow of liquid more smooth going through the vehicle. You don't get kind of a pulsating, so they have pulse dampening system in here. Allows the water to come down and it's not like spurting onto the disc at all. It's just got a nice even flow right through and then it gives you a better and more consistent coverage. Again, another great tool from XAG. Now the spray arms here, uh, one of the nice things that improvements that I always appreciate about this vehicle is that you can actually fold these arms up. Um, both arms both fold up. One thing they added in the P100 Pro is just a nice little convenient clip up there that you can put that up. You don't even have to screw the, the, the arm in to, to lock it in place. But it's easy to also release and put back down out in the field. There's also some more settings you can put in here to adjust your arm. And probably the best thing that I see here is, is they've they've obviously taken out a uh, shutoff valve here, um, which um, you know can be a source of problems at times when it gums up or something like that. And they've they've really simplified the design of the arm, but they've also added the ability for it to actually flex back and forth because we always have accidents and you bump into things that you're not intending, and that way you don't have to break off your arm or anything. Uh, just a nice little convenience factor, and it just really improves the longevity of the vehicle and the spray arms out in the field. So XAG doesn't only make just a great sprayer, they also make a great spreader. And to move from one to the other is a very simple process, which is worth showing. Uh, just like a tractor, the P100 is the vehicle and the base is the implement. And so to pull the pin, you just unlock the latches here on the side. We're going to go ahead and un we're going to loosen these hoses that go to the arms. And then we're going to unplug the actual uh, tank from the main board in the, in the vehicle. You grab the handles carefully, pick up, walk over, and then the self-centering pegs should get you in the right place on the vehicle when you're going in. And you set it down on top of your Revo cast, and then you go ahead and latch your tank back on. 
underneath here, you're gonna reach. You may have to fish a little bit to find your wire. Plug it back in and now you're connected. You can connect that underneath and tuck it in. And now you're connected to your Revo cast and you're ready to apply dry product. So let's move on to the XAG Revo cast system. And uh, one thing XAG is quite well known for on its, is its dry spreader system and its innovations in the industry for that. Now, most people are used to dry systems as having a spinner plate or a set of spinner plates behind them. But in the aerial industry and aerial applications, that just doesn't cut it. It doesn't do a good job and it gives you uneven applications. And so XAG has designed a dual spreader system that flings product out while the props push the product down and away from the aircraft, giving you nice and consistent coverage as you're applying uh, at high speeds across the field. A part of that system is something that people overlook oftentimes, and I think it's worth mentioning. It's the blades themselves. When you're applying a corrosive product and it's flinging it up, uh, the vortices are pulling some of that product up inevitably into the props and, and into the propellers. Uh, these heavier blades that you get from XAG, the heavier composites that they, they, they use, are going to hold up much longer and have a much longer uh, life of operation than the thinner blades that are out on the market. You've seen some of those and they get chipped up and, and broken in this process. So this is one of the stronger abilities of having a tractor, tractor tough design that XAG uh, has employed here. Uh, difference between the P100 to P100 Pro isn't a lot, obviously, in mechanics and, and functions and motors, but uh, size is a big difference here. You can see this tank over here only is able to carry about 88 pounds on this P100 for what it's rated for. And this P100 Pro, though, is able now to carry 110 pounds uh, out every time. So you can dump a 50, uh, a 50 pound bag in each side of this hopper and these, these uh, hopper lids just pop off and you can dump from each side, really easy to access. And then with this high angle here, the product is dropping and feeding down into the hopper. Uh, down here, we have augers in here that is actually pulling the product towards uh, the spreader. And that is actually stopping bridging in the tank. Of course, as many of you know, bridging is a big problem with some of these products. They stick together, clump together. So they have different auger sizes for smaller product. The P100 Pro has an additional auger size, which is the extra coarse uh, uh, auger that you can put in there. And I'll show you that here. Uh, the other thing is, is the ability to clean out your tank when you're done and be able to, to, to ma maintain your equipment. And one thing that happens with these products is, of course, they're very corrosive in nature, fertilizers and, and seed treatments and other things like that. So um, you don't want to leave this in the tank for a long time with moisture. It'll get stuck. But even if you do, it's going to get caked in here. And all you have to do is release this latch here on the bottom. And these poly uh, uh, augers pull right out of the bottom here, which is really great. And you can see they have the different auger sizes that you can put in here for the bottom of the tank. But uh, you can also maintain and clean these. They're very heavy duty and they're easy to replace and clean out. But, you know, take the air gun to it, blow them out take uh, a water hose or power washer and clean them out here and get them, get them clean. Otherwise, uh, you know, these aren't going to have as long a shelf life as you want them to. So a great design from XAG, uh, as always. So both the P100 Pro and the P100 have the same controller that we ship at Pegasus Robotics. That is the ARC3 Pro. Now the ARC3 Pro uh, has a lot of great features that are added to it. A lot of you are used to the ACS2, which was just kind of a single help remote. And it wasn't really used much because most of it was done on the app anyways. But they've come back with this for those that want to do manual flight. You now have the sticks that most people are used to using. And the neat part is, is there's a lot of other buttons that they've added to the remote for ease of use in the field, such as changing lanes uh, while you're spraying, the ability to set A and B lines, the ability to change the volume of product being dispensed and the droplet size. So like on a windy day, if you see it uh, getting a little bit gusty, you can increase that droplet size just with a few clicks. Uh, there's a lot of other little things that are integrated. Of course, you can put a cell card in here and it can receive 4G communication and provide to your vehicle. 
uh, or RTK corrections to the vehicle and to the remote itself with its RTK antenna. So you can map the edges of your field. Or it can use Wi-Fi so you can share with your cell phone to the device itself and then provide that to the rest of your, your equipment in the field. Whatever way you want, there's a lot of options, of course, in this remote. There's a lot involved with it. So um, it's worth checking out and using, but it's a great uh, improvement from the XAGT. Finally, let's move on to some optional equipment that you could have with the P100 or the P100 Pro. Uh, I have the real Terra module here, which is just like the Revo Cast and Revo Spray system. It has the same base and you can attach it to either vehicle, the P100 or Pro. Uh, underneath, you're going to see it has a camera and the same plug that you can plug into the aircraft. So it's just an implement. What this enables us to do is to be able to fly over the field and map it in real time and provide that map back to the XAG1 app so you can trace out the boundaries, obstacles in there. Now we recommend this only for small projects. It's not made for really, really large surveys like 80 to 160 acres. Uh, this works really well in fruit orchards uh, where you want to model 3D terrain or if you want to do pastures or other things like that or even plot trials uh, or vineyards. This is, a, this is a good tool for that. So. Um, that's an option that we have available with the XAG product line. And then for the rest of those that don't have Core's RTK network or even a data connection out in the middle of the field, these devices can work without that on the remote controller network or the RCN. But you can also connect into that network. Uh, the XRTK base station uh, does function remotely or it can function as a 4G device as well and provide those corrections back to the system. But um, this works really well for remote situations. Again, these are just additional pieces that you can add to the uh, XAG product line to make it uh, work better for your operation in your field. So this concludes our summary on the P100 and P100 Pro from XAG. These are both great vehicles for the North American market and found exclusively at pegasusrobotics.com. If you're interested, go there and you can find a dealer near you and schedule a demo. Uh, make sure to sign up for our social channels as well, where you're gonna find out what's going on around the shop or what events we're going to uh, in the North American market. And as always, just reach out to us by phone or email. We'd be glad to hear from you. Uh, we look forward to talking at Pegasus Robotics.